I've got a question for you viewers. Tell me, what makes an AI art image generator good? There's a lot of factors. Let's go over some basic ones. Resolution, how high resolution, how many pixels are there in the image? How detailed is the image? Meaning how sharp are some edges? How many characters can it fit in one scene? How well can it resolve those finer details? How closely does it actually follow the prompt? Can it get all aspects of a prompt in? And then of course you start getting into the other stuff such as aspect ratio support, in painting and out painting support. Anyways, point being, there are a ton of factors that go into making an AI art generator good. Viewers, today I want to revisit an extremely overlooked AI art image generator. On my Discord server, everyone always talks about and uses this specific generator. However, you never really see news articles or internet news buzzing about this. And that's sort of the point of this video. I'm trying to call attention to this AI art generator because I think it is very, very good and in a lot of cases is actually much better than Midjourney. Viewers, this is Microsoft Bing Image Creator. It released a few months back and it never really picked up too much traction, mostly because I think people just assume this is regular Dolly. It is, in fact, powered by OpenAI's Dolly, but Microsoft and OpenAI have a very close connection. This version of Dolly is not even close to the traditional regular version of Dolly. This is like supercharged, extra powerful Dolly 2. It's very competitive with Midjourney, and it's a lot better at following prompts than Midjourney is. It seems to have a wider palette, a wider variety of available styles, and we will get into that. But I want to take you guys to the real kicker of Microsoft Bing Image Creator. Midjourney at its cheapest tier costs $10 a month. How much do you think Bing Image Creator costs? Actually, Bing Image Creator doesn't cost anything. It is entirely free. Yup, that's right, entirely free. As you can see, I start my day off here with 100 boosts, which is 100 really fast generations, and then if my boosts run out, my image generation just goes into a queue and it takes a little bit longer. That's it. Completely free generation. And it's been like this for months. What's also crazy is that you can use your Microsoft account rewards to get more generations for Bing Image Creator. Free is a heck of a lot better than $10 or even 30 bucks a month. And the quality, like I said, is truly there with this image creator. Why don't I give you guys a good example of where Midjourney just cannot compete with Bing Image Creator. We'll do a simple prompt, camcorder footage, grainy image of an ominous sea monster zoomed in. I clearly want something that looks real. I want real looking camcorder footage. And you might think, well, you know, Midjourney's great at photography and photorealistic stuff, so it should be able to produce this. Well, let's put it head to head. By the way, generation time for Bing Image Creator is pretty good, about standard Dolly time since this is an updated version of the Dolly model. If you just look at these images, sure, the mid-journey ones might be a little bit more clear, they might be more cinematic looking, aesthetically pleasing, because mid-journey, you know, traditionally puts a lot of emphasis on every single image towards some aesthetic goal. Now, by doing this, I believe mid-journey loses a little bit of their promptability and some of the creative exploratory aspect. I'm not saying Midjourney is horrible in every case, and it certainly is better in a lot of cases than Bing Image Creator, but when you're trying to do certain things and really go for a certain style, sometimes that aesthetic stuff holds you back. These do look like terrifying sea monster pictures, and they're great images. I'm not saying they're bad, but they just don't look like camcorder footage, not even in the slightest. These images that we are seeing from Bing, they actually look like real camcorder footage. There's something ominous and creepy about them. Like this, I mean, you can't really tell what it is. It's a fuzzy blob. We could try to improve that over time with our prompting. I mean, the prompt wasn't too great, to be honest. But still, this looks like creepy, ominous camcorder CCTV footage. And that is what I'm going for. I want camcorder stuff. Not aesthetically pleasing, sharp around the edges images from Midjourney. To further iterate on my point here, I'm going to try a better prompt, and this is a better prompt for sure. Camcorder footage, ominous sea monster stepping out of the water, tentacles, glowing eyes, found film. And as you can see, these actually look like photos of maybe some slides, 
Could be camcorder footage as well though, but you know, it's grainy, it's not super sharp, it's creepy though in a realistic way, it looks like some ominous footage. This one might not be the best, it's kind of a derpy monster, but still, all of these have this eerie vibe to them, it knows when to make something blurry, it knows when to make something grainy and not perfect. And a lot of times, maybe the best images or the best kind of creations have that higher rate of variability instead of aesthetic pleasure over everything. For example, this is what we get out of Midjourney. Again, it's just too much aesthetics. It's a very sharp, well-defined image, sure. But that's not what I was looking for when I was creating this. I wanted something that was spooky and real. And you know what? Let's take it a step further, too. Let's do a detailed prompt and see which of the two image generators are going to be able to hold in more of that prompt into the final image. All right, this prompt is pretty difficult. This is supposed to be a photo of a Japanese Beatles birthday party inside of McDonald's. They're all wearing green party hats and the floor is covered in water with a wet floor sign in the corner. There is a chance that they both just get this right off the bat, but let's see. So these are the images we got from Microsoft Bing. And yeah, these are definitely beetles. They've got green party hats. The floor is definitely wet. I don't see a wet floor sign in this one. Definitely photography though. And I, yeah, it could be a McDonald's. Same thing going on with this one. Almost every single aspect of the prompt, except for that wet floor sign. Same thing for this one as well, except for the party hats are not green. And these party hats also were not green in the, the before image as well. And finally, this one has the wet floor sign, but no party hats. Very close though, only missing one aspect. What do you think we get out of Midjourney? Again, Midjourney's focus on the aesthetics is holding it back. Not a single beetle in any of these generations. Uh, the floor is green, but there are no green party hats. I mean, these people are wearing party hats. I don't see a single wet floor sign in any of the images. All it really got was photography and inside of McDonald's, and I guess the birthday party aspect as well. So Midjourney's coherency by following the prompt is a lot worse in this case when compared to Bing Creator. And this is pretty disappointing. I wish Midjourney would focus a little bit more on creating a model that can follow prompts closer. And they said that they did by creating Midjourney Raw. And you know what? We'll go ahead and test Midjourney Raw right now. But so far, viewers, I haven't noticed much of a difference. We'll switch it over to a raw mode and toss the prompt in. This is Midjourney with the raw style here. And again, it's the same exact thing. We don't get many aspects of the prompts, not a single beetle, no wet floor signs. The floor isn't even wet, really, in most of these. Just kind of a green birthday party inside of McDonald's. These people are wearing some yellow hats. It's just not really producing the results that we are asking for. What's also pretty surprising about Bing is that it's fairly loose in terms of what you're allowed to generate. It will evaluate your prompts and check to see if you're trying to make nudity or extreme gore or violence. But if your check goes through, your image does get generated. Let's go ahead and try to make Mario from Super Mario Brothers hold a firearm. Oh, apparently there's nothing wrong with this image, and uh, Bing is just going to let this one fly through. Yes, we definitely uh, get images that uh, resemble this. And I gotta say, it does a pretty good job with the uh, characters. The original Dolly used to try to wipe any character out of its database, but this one, uh, a lot of them are just left in. You can do Mario, Sonic, pretty much whatever you want. And you see, viewers, here is the issue with Midjourney. Action needed to continue. Our AI moderators feel your prompt might be against our community standards. Well, I'll press uh, appeal. Oh, my appeal got accepted, so that's good. The AI moderators finally let it through, but it still gives me that warning, which is a little spooky. I gotta say, though, Midjourney definitely does resolve a better Mario brother holding a firearm. I mean, check these out. These are quite good. I say Midjourney definitely wins with this prompt. I mean, the M on all of these Marios is absolutely phenomenal. Both still will hold you back for certain prompts, and both still have prompts that are banned. Whereas with something like Stable Diffusion, that's not going to happen. Now, viewers, we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of the generations the community has made with Microsoft Bing Image Creator. How specific you can get with your prompts, the amount of variability, the amount of diversity you can get in your images is truly going to speak for itself. 
Special thanks to my Discord community members for generating these images. We're going to start out by taking a look at this macro photo of a lit match. This one looks nearly flawless. Look at the fine details and the wood grains and the burnt match. I mean, it is astonishing how well these models can get at the finer details. Let's go ahead and toss the same prompt into Mid Journey. I am curious at how well it can do. The prompt was simply macro photography, the tip of a match igniting real centered black background high dynamic range and again get a nice look at that bing image creator generation and then we'll take a look at the mid journey stuff mid journey is still pretty good but it's pretty evident that well mid journey just doesn't have as much training data or as much knowledge of a match i mean look at how these matches down here are almost duplicated and this one's all like a weird pine cone shape and it kind of looks like it's igniting it just looks digital instead of realistic like this and here is a real photo of a lit match. Bing, mid journey, and then a real photo. All I know is that the similarities between this one and this one, in terms of it looking realistic, are definitely far beyond what we got out of mid journey's examples. The surrealist photos you can capture with Bing are just otherworldly. This is a photo that is supposed to represent someone boiling gold and melting it down on their stove in a pot, and that really is what it looks like, but the photo just looks so real. I mean, the stove maybe isn't the best in terms of coherency, but there's just some aspects about this that make it look like a real capture. It's not, you know, aesthetically pleasing. It doesn't look like it's digitally edited or enhanced in some way like a lot of mid-journey generations do. It looks legit. And that's just what I love about it. it you can really tell a story in a unique way. But this one actually does have a story. You now pour the gold and you're creating a coin with this gold. And all of these images, viewers, they just look so real. And finally, what do we achieve but a lemon coin? And that does look like a very realistic macro shot of a lemon themed golden coin. I mean, we see the lemon directly in the center. It's all gold. The way the light is refracting and creating artifacts with the camera, it just looks so legit and real. Even the, the details on the fingerprints. I don't know exactly what the prompt was for these ones, but... I know I don't see Midjourney generate images that look quite like this that often. This is a pretty awesome image of a fireball tiger flying towards what appears to be the earth. Again, just really detailed, really nuanced image, lots of creative detail in here. Midjourney could probably create something like this, but I'm just trying to show off that Bing is no slouch. By the way, viewers, if you want to challenge any of these images with Midjourney or some other AI art generator, please do so in my Discord server. We would love to see it. Again, these surrealist photos, these blurry, imperfect images are just so well captured by Bing. And it's not because the model can't render fine details or anything like that. It's just because it's better trained to be able to handle this stuff. This is such a dreamlike photo. Like, try to get something that's this blurry and this realistic out of Mid Journey. This legitimately does look like it was captured underwater on like an iPhone or something, or even a film camera. You just can't capture stuff with this kind of aesthetic imperfections in Mid Journey. Take a look at the vignetting and the scratching and the psychedelicness of this photo. Try to capture that inside of Mid Journey. I would love to see people attempt it. I'm not saying that it's impossible. I just would love to see a deeper comparison between the models. If you're wondering about artistic animated styles, Bing is definitely very much capable of that as well. My Discord members go absolutely off when it comes to generating with Bing Image Creator, and they've tried and tested about every single artistic example you can think of. One thing definitely is for sure, though, when it comes to these AI art image generators, the images they're able to produce leave so many doors for creative possibilities wide open. It really feels like the next step forward in imaging as a whole. There definitely is a lot to be said about going through the creative process of drawing something or going out and taking a photo of something, but there is a creative process and exploratory aspect to this as well and I don't think that it can be understated. Thank you so much for watching, viewers. Check out the Discord with the link in the description, and of course, check out Bing Image Creator because it's completely free to use. That's really the, the kicker here. Competing with Midjourney, beating it in a lot of circumstances, really good at so many specific fun, creative things, all for free. Check out some of my other videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.